Welcome to the Indie Film Hustle Podcast, episode number 177. Stop doing crap you hate. Gary V. Broadcasting from the back alley in Hollywood, it's the Indie Film Hustle Podcast, where we show you how to survive and thrive as an indie filmmaker in the jungles of the film biz. And here's your host, Alex Ferrari. Welcome, Indie Film Hustlers, to another episode of the Indie Film Hustle Podcast. I am your humble host, Alex Ferrari. Now, today's show is sponsored by Audible, and if you guys are like me, I'm constantly learning and reading as many things as I can, and sometimes I can't just sit down for hours and read a book, so I love listening to audiobooks, and Audible gives you one free audiobook that you can download and listen anywhere while you're on the go, while you're doing other work, and it helps you keep that education going, keeps you learning new things, and keeps you moving forward, and I've downloaded filmmaking books, screenwriting books, inspirational books, business books, all sorts of different books that that I listen to all the time. So just head over to freefilmbook.com. That's freefilmbook.com and download your free filmmaking, screenwriting, or any kind of book you'd like. So today, guys, I wanted to do a short episode to give you this amazing news that I think is a game changer for indie filmmakers and for content creators out there. Facebook Watch has just been announced, and it is a huge deal. Facebook is throwing their hat in the ring for video creators. They're basically challenging YouTube. And they have 1.32 billion people that show up to Facebook every single day. So when you have an audience that big, uh, generally speaking, if you have video content, someone's going to be watching it. And, but this is the kicker, they're starting to do ad revenue share just like YouTube. And from what I'm hearing through the grapevine, which I have a couple of little spies within Facebook that I talk to, it's nice to have friends in high places, uh, what they're telling me is that right now Facebook is launching a bunch of original programming, uh, very similar to what uh, YouTube Red did and obviously what Netflix and Hulu and Amazon have been doing as well. But Facebook is d- a little bit different since it's a social media platform. Very similar to what Amazon is. Amazon is very different because it's it's where you buy everything and their business model is different than Netflix's business model. But what makes Facebook unique is that it has a massive audience. I mean, we're talking about 1.32 billion people that come to the site on a daily basis basis. That is monstrous. So for them to throw their hat in the video creation and working with other video creators and filmmakers is monstrous. And what they're going to be doing right now is launching uh, a bunch of original shows uh, with a little uh, Facebook watch tab that you'll be able to get to and and, and incorporate into your Facebook uh, watching and spending time on Facebook and so on. It's pretty ingenious. But What they're also going to be doing is ad revenue share. Same business model as YouTube, paying creators through ads. That is huge. And from what I'm hearing, those ads, are you're going to be making more money on Facebook than on YouTube. I'm just saying this is a very big deal for filmmakers and for video creators. So when they launch, it will only be curated content. It'll only be original programming. But as they start rolling this out over the next months and possibly a year or so, you will be able to, as an individual, an independent artist, an independent production company or producer, to create your own show tabs. So basically now anybody and everybody can have their own show. Very similarly to what you could do on YouTube, but the audience is so much different than it is on YouTube, and you'll be able to make more money. It's just another avenue for you to be able to monetize your creations, and it doesn't have to be House of Cards. You can be just talking on a camera, and if you got an audience that wants to to watch you for free and watch ads, you'll get paid. I really want to impress upon you guys what a game changer this is for all filmmakers, all you got to do is start creating, start thinking about how you can create content for this medium as well that you can use for any other medium. And if you happen to be sitting on a bunch of content, whether that be YouTube videos that you've done over the years, whether that be short films, uh, feature films that are just sitting around gathering dust, 
why not put it up? If you have a, sh- a series, let's say a, a series of videos, and you put it up on Amazon Video, on YouTube, and on Facebook Watch, and you start generating revenue on it, why wouldn't you do that? You're getting your work out there. You're getting your face out there, and you're making money along the way. Are you going to get rich by this? No. Would you release a feature film that costs $100,000, and that's the only way you're going to make your money? No. But you can start creating content, and you can start making money and getting your brand, your movie, yourself as a filmmaker or a production company out to a much larger audience. And if you happen to have a large Facebook audience already, this is going to be amazing for you guys. So I just wanted to kind of put this out there for you guys so you could know what's going on and know what this ever-changing landscape is like. So just like I, uh, just like I did an episode on Amazon Video Direct, which you could start generating money. I've already started generating money on just my short films and things like that. Uh, you could start doing that with Facebook Watch when they roll it out for individual creators, which hopefully will be soon. They might mention it today at their big announcement or uh, in, in the months to come, but definitely keep an eye on that. And on a side note, another little guy who's being thrown his hat into the video creation ring is Apple. They just announced that they're going to spend $1 billion this year on video original video content. So they're going to be throwing their hat in the ring as well. You've got these juggernauts all battling for eyeballs because this is an attention economy. That is what we are in, an attention economy. Don't let anyone tell you any different. It's all about who can grab the attention of the customer, whether that be Amazon so they can sell you stuff or whether it be YouTube, Facebook, or or Snapchat, which they're trying to start getting, getting into it as well to keep you on their platform, to keep you watching, to keep you buying. That is what people are looking for, an attention economy. Listen to what I'm telling you guys. If you can grab a customer or the audience's attention as a filmmaker, whether that be making films, shorts, TV series, documentaries, how-to videos, however it is, you will be in power. The larger your audience, the more money you can make and the more control you can have over your art form. This is a huge deal. I wanted to bring it to you guys and let you know I'm going to put a link in a bunch of links in the description talking about Facebook Watch as well as the big Apple announcement that came out a little bit ago. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go out, make your movie. Go out and make your shorts. There has never been a better time to be an independent filmmaker. Never been a better time to be an independent filmmaker. You can get your films watched. You can get them out there. There's no effing excuse anymore, but you can go out there and be a successful filmmaker. And understand, this is not a one-year plan. This is a 10-year plan. And you have to think about it that way. And if you start going down this path and you're doing, oh, after four months, nothing's happening, then you're not cut out for this business and go sell some shoes somewhere else. All right? I'm sorry to be rough. I'm just excited. I wanted you guys to get this information. And as always, keep the hustle going. Keep that dream alive. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Indie Film Hustle podcast at IndieFilmHustle.com. That's I-N-D-I-E-F-I-L-M-H-U-S-T-L-E.com. 